Valorant has a lot of mysterious theories. Think about sketchy matchmaking like Lucius Q, targeted skins in the Valorant stores, or the illegal underworld of Valorant where people make thousands of dollars with Valorant bots. There are a lot of these conspiracies and in this video we're gonna discuss the few. Are these things real? Is there any proof? And if they are real, how can you use that information to win more games? This video is gonna be epic my friends. If you like it, feel free to subscribe. And let's talk about the first theory, Lucius Q. The Lucius Q is one of the most known Valorant conspiracies out there. But if you've never heard about it, here's how the theory goes. Imagine, you played some Valorant games and lost a few games back to back. Very annoyed, you start up another game and then you say to your teammates, oh man, I lost so many games back to back. And then suddenly your teammates are saying, yes, same, me too. What? This is also my fifth loss in a row. This is gonna be a fun game. This, my friends, this is called Loser's Q. A lot of people think that if you lose a few games back to back, you're gonna get cute with other people that also lost a few games back to back. I think everybody experienced this at least once in their Valorant career. But a big question, is this a real thing? To find this answer, we're gonna go back in time and look at this viral clip of Shroud. You know, a very popular streamer, YouTuber and professional player. Did you start losing Valorant places you in a loser queue so it doesn't get better until the next day. So you're telling me if you lose a couple games, it'll throw you into lobbies with people that have also lost a couple games? That makes a lot of sense, actually. Hey, have you guys lost a game or two recently? I lost 20 in a row. Yeah, we lost last game. So this clip went viral, a lot of people have seen it, and it also catched the attention of Ever Moore, a developer at Riot Games. And shortly after the clip, he made this tweet, basically saying that losing a lot of matches back to back is one of the main reasons why players quit a certain game. So according to the developer, no, there's no such things as losers queue in Valorant. Case dismissed, right? Well, there's still that question about why. Why do we always queue with people losing when we are on a losing streak? For that, I have two explanations. The first explanation is pretty simple simple not just in valorant but overall in life you hear way more about the negative stories than about the positive stories just think about the news or things like twitter and because of that when you hop into a game with a few people and one of those are saying that they are on a six loss streak then you are way more inclined to believe that the loser's queue is true even though the fourth and fifth player maybe aren't even on the losing streak but the fact that they don't say anything you believe loser's queue is true or the second explanation this one is a bit more conspiracy like but it's all about the algorithms my friends a lot of games and web websites are based around algorithms, just like the Valorant rank system. And the algorithm behind that system chooses with what players you're gonna play. But here's the thing, some algorithms are learning by themselves to be as optimized as possible. And because these algorithms are learning by themselves, there is a chance that the developers don't even know exactly how the system works anymore. This is also happening in the YouTube recommendation system, but that's a story for another time. But in conclusion, maybe the algorithm learned something that if you put people in a losing queue, they tend to play longer. This part of the video is not confirmed of course it's just a conspiracy but it's a cool thing to think about let me know what you think in the comments down below now it's time to move on to the next theory this one looks a bit like loser's queue but it's definitely different here's how it goes there's this theory that if you play with friends in a duo queue three men or even a five stack you'll play against stronger enemies i bet a lot of you have noticed it yourself you're playing some solo queue you win a lot of games then some friends are asking you if you want to play some games with them and then suddenly what the heck these enemies are so cracked suddenly what is happening this my friends this has actually a logical explanation. Let me tell you something about Valorant Ranked where you might not know about. If you decide to play Valorant Ranked with friends in a 5 stack or a 3 stack for example, you have more chance that the enemies will also be in a 3 stack or 5 stack. This is something that some Valorant developers have said in some interviews. Overall the system tries to make the pre-made team sizes as equal as possible. So if you play as a duo and you get queued up with the 3 men, there's a high chance that the enemies will also consist of a 3 man team and a duo queue. This system is very good to create equality in a team morale and team play but it also has some flaws which make it seem like the enemies will always be better if you play with friends and here's why two reasons again the first reason is that with the more friends you are playing the higher chance that you guys mmr or your ranks are further apart of each other and because the mmrs are further apart it's harder for the system to create balanced teams this by the way is also the reason why it takes way longer to queue if you try to queue with friends and if you try to queue all by yourself but there's a second flaw like i said if you play with friends there's a higher chance that the enemies will also be friends but there's a problem imagine you want to play with your school friends two buddies but your two buddies are silver while you are platinum ah oh, that sucks i want to play with them what are you gonna do you can play normal games but a lot of people don't think that's fun so the second option is to make a smurf and then play with them this is something that a lot of people will do to play with their friends so there might be a higher chance to play against smurfs in pre-made matches than if you play solo queue so in conclusion if you play with friends are the enemies always better all things considered the answer to this is no however there's a higher chance 
chance that the teams might be in balance. So one game you might lose very hard, but the other game you win very hard. Let's move on to the next Valorant theory. This one is about the dark side of Valorant, the Valorant underworld. You might have seen the TikToks, tweets, screenshots, or maybe you experienced it yourself, but in some Valorant games you find some very fishy accounts. In some games people playing against 5 players and they all have very short names, like Ball, Ntz, Bet, Bz, Nv, and the only thing they do is either stand in spawn or in some cases walk straight ahead till they hit the wall. What are these accounts and why the heck are they playing Valorant? Well my friends, here's the answer. These accounts are probably bots. And here's what they are doing. As we all know by now, if you want to play competitive in Valorant, you need to reach level 20. But a lot of people, they are too lazy to get to level 20. Normal games are boring, especially if you want to play quickly ranked with your friends. And that's where these bots come in. There are some illegal organizations that are creating a lot of accounts, try to level them up to 20 and then sell them to other people. Of course, this is strictly forbidden and against the Valorant rules. So I would recommend to never ever buy an account like this. There's a high chance that these accounts will get banned later anyway, but there are some people that are making thousands of dollars with this. But wait, there's one more thing about these bots that I personally don't really understand. Some players are finding these bots in competitive games. But why competitive? I mean, if they are level 20 anyway, they are ready to sell, right? I don't think that losing games in ranked will increase the value of these accounts. It will only increase the chance of them getting banned. It's also not the deranking service because most bots have the same name. So why are these bots in competitive? I guess we never know, my friends. Unless someone with a bigger brain than me writes a comment with explanation. If you know something, feel free to share it in the comments. I try to read every one of them. And now let's move on to the next theory. This one is about the Valorant stores. Just like any game, Riot Games, the creator of Valorant, is trying to make money, of course. And to make more money, some people think that the stores in Valorant are rigged. Could it be possible that the algorithm is looking at your gameplay, trying to notice what Vandal skins you are using, if there are multiple on the ground, which one do you pick up? And based around this data, showing the right skin at the right time in your market. This is something that a lot of people are believing in. Uh, Mr. Lowlander, my favorite skin is never in my market. Well, that's the thing, my friends. If the game knows that a certain skin is your favorite skin, they're not gonna show it right away, but they're waiting for the date till players are most likely to buy the skin. Usually at the end of the month when people collect their money from their jobs. Did you find your favorite skin in the store? Congratulations. You clicked on it, you landed on the buying page, but you waited a little bit and in the end you did not buy it. And then two weeks later, huh, what's happening? Whoa, the same skin is in my night market now. It's a fun theory to think about, but where does it come from? Is there any evidence that this theory is true? Well, my friends, I did not find any hard evidence, but I found something. In League of Legends, another game that Riot Games developed, there's also a night market. And in that night market, you have targeted skins. If you play a certain agent a lot, or actually champion how it's called in League of Legends, there's a higher chance that you will get a skin of that champion in your night market. The system knows what agent you like the most and gives you that skin. And since it's from the same developers, there is a chance that the Valorant system works in the same way. Keep in mind though, it's just a theory. It's not confirmed, so share your thoughts in the comments down below. And while you're there, if you know any other Valorant conspiracies, feel free to share them and I might dive into them in next video. This is the end of the video. Subscribe if you want to support the channel and I see you guys in the next one. Peace.